and I'm going to show you how I raise caterpillars. I have this calamansi plant right over here and there are some pesky little caterpillars that eat our leaves. Before we would kill a lot of them but this time around, sometime around, we decided to catch them and raise them instead. I've tried raising them twice before after researching and watching a few YouTube videos and I've succeeded so yeah I've succeeded in raising them to butterflies so yeah first I'm going to be preparing their habitat so I'm going to be using this new big jar and then I'm just gonna put some soil in there. I'm gonna want around two inches of soil. Alright, so I put the branch in a floral tube so so that the and this floral tube will help preserve the plant so that its leaves stay fresh for longer. Now I'm going to take a look and hmm going to now as you can see this branch has caterpillars on it. So I'm just gonna cut it out. Carefully. Now we don't want any spiders in there because they could eat the caterpillars. Okay, I think I got it off. Now I'll take another foil tube and place it inside so that this branch stays fresh. And I'll put it in there like the other one. Cutting off this one because I don't know if you can see this, but there's a caterpillar there as well. Here. I'll just cut it.
what we need to do here is to cut off some excess leaves so that I can actually close this. I'm gonna need to do that. Now this little bugger here, I'm going to need to put him down because he's too high up. This can be a little bit difficult sometimes. There we go. Now we can just cut off the remaining of leaves that are getting a bit too tall. Sprinkle some on the floor. And then I take one of these mesh covers and then use a big old rubber band to Close it up. And there we go. This is the kind of enclosure I use for my caterpillars. I'm going to have to clean it every day to remove their poop. But other but they only eat and poop. There's nothing much else you need to add. You just have to change the branches every now and then and also clean their poop. March 23 and as you can see these two caterpillars have changed color and you may or may not be able to see this but there are three other caterpillars in this container they're all tiny though so you might not see it all right it's March 31 and we can see that one of the caterpillars has adopted this position that means that it's going to turn into a cocoon soon. And here's a caterpillar cocoon. When it's about to turn into a butterfly, this will become transparent. <laughs> 